Hello everyone, today I will show you how you can show the number of new message from the student side. So here the status, if the status is no, then we will count how many status are no and the message has to be come from the admin because only admin and student can interact. So here, here we will go to the navigation page of our student side and here inside this message uh, okay inside the body tag here we will start writing the php code and inside this php code we will write uh, our first query for this counting and for that let's write mysqli underscore query then dollar sign db And then here the query select then count okay space then count inside this parenthesis we will write status because we are actually counting the status how many status are there that is actually no right now so let's just write it here first and check if this is all right so select count then the column name that we want to count the column name is status where sorry from the table name so table name is message so from message and then the where status equal no and username equal login user here our login user is from me so I'm just giving it directly and then there will be another condition that is the sender has to be admin because we are showing this number inside the student side so only the admin's new message will be counted here the count is one because admin only has one message to from me so we are just going to write it exactly same as this but we are here changing the column name here we can now use this total variable for getting this same answer So let's write this inside our code. Select count status as total. We will use this total variable. Then message where status equal no. And then username equal login user. So session variable will be here. And after this we will use another condition that will be our sender equal admin okay now it is all right so let's echo the variable Okay, I need to use a uh, variable here. Let's use dollar $R and then we need to fetch it. After that, I can echo this. So after this, I need to write a while condition for fetching this data. Okay, we are using directly the fetching query here. Sorry, directly the fetch function here. Because uh, we are actually not uh, getting many different values. We will get only a single value. So we can use it directly. And if there are many row for this answer, then we use the um, while condition. But here the answer will be only one. We will get the numeric value, how many new message has been uh, received by the user from the admin that is why we used that query uh, that function directly and we have okay, put that very value inside the dollar c variable and here 
we are showing that by using $C variable. So total is our variable here $C total will be our output that we will show inside this PHP. And now you can see that uh, beside the message box there is a small one inside this round box and here after this okay now we need to do something so that when the uh, okay there is some error here inside the feedback page all the other pages are uh, working properly just this page and here they say undefined variable db so let's just check the feedback page again okay you can see that the connection page is actually connect uh, included after the nav navigation page so we need to give it before the navigation page i will tell you why you see inside this navigation bar page there is only our session connected but here if we uh, add the connection page later then it will not actually get the dollar sign db variable that is why it was saying that it is unrecognizable so we need to introduce the dollar sign db variable first and then we can add the navigation page okay so the problem is solved now okay so where were okay we were here so we need to do something so that whenever the user actually read the message we need to make it zero again beside this um, envelope so here let's write the query for that okay inside this message page we will click on this and so we need to write this query inside this message page not the, or not on the navigation page so for that we need to go here and let's go to the php part and here is our code for submit button and then this else condition and after this we will write that so mysql i underscore query here we need to give the dollar db variable again and here we need to write that update query because we will update the status from no to yes okay so let's change this no to yes update status sorry update message and set status equal yes so where we will do this where sender equal admin okay so from the admin whichever message will come we will set all these value of the status to yes and the username will be our session variable because we cannot do this for all the admin message to other user too we only will do this for the user that is actually logged in right now because only that person has read the message okay and admin can send this message to many other user too so here we are using that condition and now if we click on this we have read this message from admin you can see now if we refresh we can see that zero here okay and if the admin sent another new message here it will again show that one message is there again let's add another message from admin okay let me just change the message so you can see the difference okay there you go if we actually refresh you can see that one inside this circle and the user has read the message and now it is zero again so that is how this is working